Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here for another one of our mass making sessions. And today's video, depending on how we get on, we might have to do it in two parts um, because I'm thinking what we're going to do is do some collage bases um, on some book pages and then kind of do the envelope flaps and things. So we'll just kind of see how we get on. I don't know, you know, time-wise how this will go. So we may do it all in one. We may have to do two parts. So we'll just see. So if you're going to be joining in doing this with me, what I've brought along is a bunch of book pages. So this is a brilliant way to use up your book pages and do some, you know, some um, book page <laughs> busting, I guess. Um, and then I've brought along a whole bunch of different papers. Now, I finally got round to um, using, or hopefully going to finally get around to using some of my gorgeous ones from Deb over at Artsology. I had won these um, in part of her giveaway. So, yep, apologies, Deb, if you happen to catch this video. I, yeah, so meant to obviously get on and use some of them previously. They're gorgeous images. Um, but I just hadn't really had time. So, you know, finally getting around to doing that. So I bought along those. I also have been over to Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and she has opened her shop. So she's got a new shop and she's offering a couple of freebies. Now they're for a limited time, but she's got these gorgeous collage pages, which don't they just go brilliantly with Deb at Artsology's pages. So I've also printed off a couple of those. And then I've just got a whole bunch of my own papers. They're all printed on copy paper. Nothing thicker than that. Um, and then I also have some more of those gorgeous embroidery pictures from the Coastal Crafter, which I used a couple of weeks ago. I've got more of those. I've got also some vintage um, like booklets here, which I thought might be able to be incorporated. I've got some vintage sheet music um, and the other thing that I've also pulled in, um, you may have noticed if you've been over to my shop recently, but I've actually added and I've already been um, collaging with this, so I apologise. But um, for my fabulous fall from last year, I had background pages and I had an ephemera set um, put up there last year. And what I've done to save people from having to buy a whole new kit but so that you have the feel of a fresh new vibe is I've just created um, some fabulous fall, which I'm calling like new for 2020, um, that literally are just a set of background pages. And they're picking up lots of the same images from the original background pages. Um, but these have got the addition of mainly um, a lovely blue colour. So they're going to give your item a fresh new look. So just by buying the background pages, they're going to coordinate, hopefully, with many of the background pages from last year and the ephemera pieces. So, you know, I just thought that was a really cost effective way of doing it because you don't have to then buy, you know, ephemera and pages. You can just buy the background background pages and it will produce a completely different um, look hopefully for your junk journal pieces um, so yeah I've got some of those as well oh that's another page from it as well um, okay so I'm going to move those out of the way I'll probably just put them on my lap I think I may have to uh, fidget around and move them from my lap now I'm just going to raise this slightly higher I'd been bringing it down because I know that um, I did have somebody comment saying that she couldn't really see very well um, and she wanted the images closer so I zoomed in but lately I've had a couple of people saying that it's a bit blurry because it's too close so we'll see hopefully this might not be too too bad so let's just get um started so I'm just going to pull in just a bunch of pieces I think <clears throat> to get started with so I'm going to use some of Deb's um gorgeous papers here I love the the florally parts so I'm just going to literally just tear down some of the favourite, you know, my favourite sections of this, I think, to use. And I'm just going to put that out of the way. And I think that would go quite nicely with maybe some of the doily pieces from the Coastal Crafter. So, and if I just put in couple that I think might go quite nicely. I should have really torn some of these bits out first but I mean obviously I figure if we're doing this together we should really do all of it together. So um, 
you know, hopefully you might feel inspired by something that we do here. So, yep, I might just clear out that little yellow piece as well. And actually, I think I printed out a few of those. So, yeah, I can probably get away with tearing out. I've got some more here. I'll just tear out those. Oops, like that. And I will try and remember to link all the shops below. Um, any that I kind of mentioned. So, yeah, fingers crossed I will remember. If I do not remember, I know I say this all the time, but seriously, I just am the world's worst person for things like that. So if I forget, it's not intentional, and please just nudge me. It's no problem. And I can just then add them sort of later. So that's those. Now, what I'm going to do now is, I think, tear in some sheet music. So if I just grab my sheet music... I've actually got a few sheets here, so I don't really need them all. So I'll just tear that down. And I just sometimes find it easiest to actually have a few things, you know, torn down small size. Because then I have to work with it. Whereas otherwise I'm constantly trying to, you know, get my pieces to fit. So there we go. And then I'm going to just take this vintage ephemera piece and just tear down a couple of bits here that we could also use maybe so we'll just see how it how it goes okay okay right okay so I move all this to my lap now okie dokie and literally just going to collage these now the reason i'm using these rather than my masterboard is obviously because i'm aware that not everybody will have done a masterboard scrapbook so i thought this was quite a nice way for you know everybody to be able to join in because i'm sure we've all got book pages and oh gosh not not having glue problems already am i um because i'm sure we've all got book pages to use up and of course we can just all collage together you know and if you don't have a sort of bunch of scraps you know like with the printables and things like that I mean just find what you can just text from any, anywhere will do um you know sheet music or something um you know I'm sure that you could find some good pieces you know probably for free to be honest of the sheet music if you don't actually have any kind of in your stash already So have a look and see, you know, see what you've got. And then I'm just going to kind of mindlessly put some bits in here, hopefully, you know, not focusing too much and getting too hung up on what's going where. And as I say, we'll just see how we get on. I mean, obviously, if this takes a long time, because we want to have a few, you know, we can't really call it mass making and only make three, <laughs> although I have done that. I think with one or two of our pieces, I have only achieved kind of one or two. <clears throat> but I mean, of course, it's better if we can make several. So we'll just see how we get on. And, you know, then if we need to kind of do it over a couple of couple of parts, then that's fine. So I'm feeling very energised today because, um, I mean, I absolutely, you know, love obviously spending time with my daughter. But... She has finally gone back to school today and wow, I can't really tell you how nice that feels. I mean, that's just such an awful thing to say, isn't it? But obviously just trying to do things with her there is quite distracting. And um, yeah, I mean, she was obviously, you know, thrilled to bits to be going back to school and, you know, went in happy as Larry and, you know, chuffed to bits to be going back. Um... And obviously our routine had been out of kilter for such a long time. We've been having kind of, you know, I don't know, rubbishy dinners and, you know, late nights and all of that kind of stuff. So this is just so, like, blissful, to be honest, now. I have finally done a load of emails this morning. I still have got, unfortunately, tons, tons more. I'm just like the world's worst person when it comes to emails and things like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not caught up. But I'm at least making a bit of progress where I haven't obviously been making any progress at all of late. So, um, yeah, that's kind of been lovely. I just literally 
you know, replied to tons of emails first thing. Well, you know, first thing when she obviously went. And um, yeah, now it's about 10 o'clock. So I've just rushed upstairs and thought, let's just get cracking and do a whole bulk load of videos. Because I haven't really been able to do that, to be honest, for a few weeks. Um, you know, I was okay during the lockdown because my husband was kind of, you know, it was his shift in the afternoons and my shift in the mornings and things. And then it's kind of gone out the window that has and it was just, yeah, not really kind of panning out so brilliantly. So yes, this feels great to actually be up here and, you know, not feeling, oh my gosh, I must rush this and, you know, so yeah. And hence for me, I feel, oh, if this just drags on over a couple of days, then that's absolutely fine because I am going to have a really nice couple of days with you guys. So um, yeah, thank you so much for sticking with me, obviously through the, um, you know, the strange times that it has been, because uh, yeah, I realize that at times it's been pretty chaotic and, you know, not great. And, you know, whilst I really appreciate everyone's kindness and saying that you love hearing my daughter and things, I mean, obviously, I am constantly bribing her with sweets and what have you to, um, you know, mummy's just doing another video, darling, you know, if you could just be quiet. So, you know, it's just much better, obviously, her being at school and not having to be bribed or anything else. So, um, yeah. And, you know, the good news is she was obviously thrilled to go as well. So it wasn't a one-way thing. She was obviously sick of the sight of me as well, but yeah. And I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm sure probably lots of us mums are feeling feeling the same, you know, and it just feels really bad to say it, doesn't it? But, you know, let's face it, kids are quite full on, aren't they? And so once they've gone back to school, it is, of course, much easier and much better, you know, if you're trying to kind of do any sort of work, really. Because you feel so bad kind of having to constantly say, oh, look, you know, mummy's just working for a minute, you know. So, um, yeah, I can now be working guilt-free and not, not feeling bad at all, which feels lovely to me. Okay. Don't know whether that will fit in there. Okay. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I don't need to talk you guys through anything here at all because we're just gluing and sticking a bunch of papers down. Um, I know I've talked before. I mean, collage, that's a bit of a struggle for me, I, I think, sometimes with the collage. And, you know, I know I've talked about this before. I often see people do these absolutely beautiful and amazing collages. And, you know, they've got no... Um, coordination color coordination going on whatsoever and it just comes together absolutely amazingly I just really struggle with that so um it's yeah it's not my natural kind of thing at all but I mean it is you know it is definitely fun to do and um you know like I always say I mean just because something doesn't come naturally doesn't mean that you can't do it um you know and just keep on playing until you feel a bit more comfortable from doing it I suppose because, you know, we should never feel excluded, should we, from doing a craft just because it's not kind of our natural flow. Okay, you see like here, I just have this little space that then I'm just going to have to fill in there with that sheet music. But I mean, that's fine. <sighs> so yeah, let's just have a really nice chilled out time now, which just feels awesome. So I have news um, on my design team. So I'd just like to announce um, some lovely news on my de design team. Um, very sadly, uh, the lovely Emily from Emma Femmer's Treasures has um, decided that she can no longer, you know, continue on the team, which, you know, that's really sad. And, you know, Emily, if you do catch this video at all, I wish you well, um, you know, with everything that you do. It's been absolutely lovely working with you. And um, yeah, I hope that you continue to, you know, to craft and to work with your journals and things and good luck with everything. Um, but on sort of happier news, I'm very pleased and excited to welcome Promita. So that's Promita from Blue Grass Journals. 
So now Pramita is actually in India, so super excited there to have, um, you know, Pramita all the way from India. I just still can't get over the wonders of the internet that we are able to just, you know, make friends and contact people from all over the world. It's just, ah, just incredible. I know. I don't know why I find that so shocking even now, but I just think it's amazing because obviously, you know, I grew up in a generation where, you know, we didn't have that. And at best, you might have had a pen pal or something, although Lord knows how you'd have met them, um, you know, from India. But yeah, so to be able to actually kind of share our love of crafting, you know, around the world is amazing. So I'm very excited to have Pramita and she does the most amazing journals, I have to say. Um, you know, she's very, very talented. So obviously I will be linking her below. I do have all my design team members linked um, with their channel details below. So she will be on there. And um, the other person who I'm so, so, so excited is Yvonne Preston. And obviously, I mean, I doubt there's anybody out there who hasn't really heard of Yvonne. I mean, I think for a lot of us, she's probably the first person that we started watching. I know she was definitely the first or certainly one of the first people I started watching, um, you know, when I started doing journals. And I'm so excited. I mean, I literally can't believe that, you know, if on Preston, who I was watching, um, you know, at the beginning of my journey, I'm now working with her on my design team. That's like amazing so I feel really 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 excited um so thank you so much Yvonne I'm absolutely excited and thrilled so um yeah very very um exciting good news there so yep obviously Yvonne um her details will be linked also below as I say probably most of you have actually heard of Yvonne because um you know of course She's probably the first one that many of us, you know, start watching when we're kind of doing journals. So, but if you haven't, oh gosh, I keep on tearing that too small. Look, um, if if you haven't, then definitely she is, um, you know, awesomely talented and very worth checking her out. Um, so I'm very excited, yep, yeah, that they are going to be, you know, or that I'm going to be able to be working with them. Um, so that's some happy, happy good news there. There we go. And I also had ordered a journal from Yvonne. Um, now, that was several weeks ago, actually. And it arrived, obviously, several weeks ago. And I have filmed it. Um, so that will be going up quite soon on my channel. I like to film ahead. And then, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but if you have a channel and you're like me and film ahead then videos have to go up in a certain order because even if they're not filmed at the same time it then seems that one video flows onto another um you know so yeah there's been a kind of long delay for her video going up which is a bit of a shame but anyway I have done the flip through of her journal which was awesome to actually now own uh you know an Yvonne journal so yeah that's all good and all exciting right well all that waffling I did one so let me just see what the time is just so for interest I can know roughly uh, I can't really see oh, I think that's 18 minutes my gosh that did take quite a long time so yeah we might just kind of spend the whole of today's video collaging our bases um and then we could do, um, you know, the other part maybe tomorrow or, well, I mean, I, I would probably film it today, but I probably won't bombard you because you'd then have like two hours worth of videos from me today, which, you know, although I'm like thrilled to be back and have kind of much more time than I have had recently, you guys might not be quite so thrilled to be um, having me zap up so much of your time, so... We'll, we'll see how that goes. Right, just going to pull in some more of Deb's lovely printables here. So again, I'm going to kind of focus around the nice flowery parts. Because the flowers are really, really nice, aren't they? So I'm going to take this piece 
here. Like that. And this piece down here. Okay. And I'll just take this flower here. So I hope you're all having a good week. I wonder what you're all up to. I don't know what the weather's like everywhere. I saw the weather forecast this morning and our weather has now, um, you know, cooled down, thank goodness. And it's now kind of much more as it would normally be, I guess, at this time of year. We had a really incredibly nice weekend. Um, it was just very pleasant temperatures, kind of, um, oh, I don't know what the temperatures were, maybe like 20 or something. So it was just, you know, what I would call perfect weather because, you know, it was that type of weather where... You just could have a cardigan on and then it was just fine. Um, you know, which to me, that's just ideal, really. It wasn't kind of that hot, sticky weather that we had had of late. Um, but I'm sure that I saw on the weather forecast this morning that I'm sure it showed in California. Is it Death, Death Valley? Um, I hope that I'm... <laughs> I hope that I'm correct in my geography here and not just now saying completely random strange places you know but I'm sure Death Valley looked like it was in California I'm sure I mean that was the place that I think a few weeks ago they reported had reached those um record temperatures of like unbelievable hideous temperatures of I'm sure it was like 54 or some really 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 crazy temperature um and I'm sure this is another one of those um 2020 autumn pages um i'm sure that it showed that that had again been at i feel like it did say 50 degrees but again i could be wrong or it maybe it was you know maybe it was showing what it had reached in recent weeks i don't know so um yeah definitely don't quote me on that but it looked like they were showing that it had reached that again, maybe over the weekend or something. I'm going to start my collage in the middle this time. So, uh, yeah, crazy, crazy temperatures. I'm so pleased that our temperatures are no longer anywhere near that because, my gosh, I was struggling a lot when it was even kind of reaching like 33 and things. It was uh, pretty horrible. And um, what have I been watching? So recently I had talked about Ozark and then I finished that, um, which I was really, you know, gutted to finish it. <laughs> I mean, although it kind of, you know, it didn't tail off, it was still good. But like all these things, you know, probably the story's dwindling a bit towards the end. Um, but it was just lovely having something to put on every single day, you know, that was like, oh, I know what I'm watching tonight without all that flicking through, trying to find something and, you know, then deciding that's rubbish and you don't want to watch what you've picked and, ah, oh, you know what it's like. So um, anyway, one of my lovely subscribers, and I'm so sorry, I do apologise that I can't remember who it was, um, had suggested watching The Fall. Now, The Fall, also on Netflix, which I don't know whether it might have originally been a BBC thing. It kind of looks, you know, it had that feel of a BBC drama. Um, but we've been watching that. Now, I thought there were only two series or two seasons of that. But I think there's actually three. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, very, very gripping. Now, I have to say it is pretty gory and horrible so if you don't like sort of thrillers and that type of thing it's probably not really for you but if you don't mind a little bit of that type of stuff then oh my gosh it's so good it's the actor who played the part of um christian gray you know in the um oh what are they called the 50 shades of gray films so it's him and um he is a serial killer in it oh my gosh he's so good in it um didn't know what he would kind of be like in it but um he's really good he doesn't really look anything like he looked in 50 shades of gray 
and um, he's got an accent. I don't know whether his accent is actually, you know, maybe he's normally got an accent. Maybe he's from that part of the world because it's set in Belfast. And so maybe he, maybe he's from there and maybe he did an accent for the Fifty Shades videos or maybe he's doing an accent for this. I'm not quite sure, but oh my gosh, he's so good in it. He's really, really, really good. He plays the part just brilliantly. Um, horrible, horrible, horrible man. Um, yeah, it's really good. I won't tell you kind of too much in case you're going to go and check it out now. But definitely, definitely, if you don't mind sort of gory things, it's really, really, really good. So, and I think I'm just up to... I think I'm just up to like the last episode in season two. I, yeah, I feel like that's where I'm up to now and um, flying through them because they're just, again, quite gripping. So every night watching them back to back and, you know, every night it's like, oh, should we just quickly put another one on? Have we got time for another one? It's one of them, which, you know, that's really great, isn't it? I love it when you get those things that are really gripping and you can just watch them time, you know, over and over. Well, not over and over, but more and more of them. So, yeah, it's a really good and I would really recommend it. But as I say, only if you don't mind sort of a bit of, um, you know, graphic sort of gore and things like that. But, uh, yeah, that's a really good one. So I don't know how many um, episodes there are in each season, but as I say, I'm sure we've just gone on to season, uh, just coming up to season three, which is how I know there's three seasons because I thought we were coming to the end and then it kind of come up with, you know, season three, which I was really pleased and thought, oh, good, there's another one. You know, we can watch more, which felt really good. I'm not sure I want to mix that in there. And we'll just check. No, I'm not going to. Um, yeah, anyway, so that's really, really good. Really enjoying that. So thank you so much, whoever that was, um, who said that they're watching the fall. It's really good. And then yesterday, I just got an apology to make. I'm so sorry, guys, that I was so late uploading my video. I don't know really what happened. I was kind of busy in the morning and um, just busy with my daughter really. And we were going to the car boot sale and things and, you know, well, just, yeah, lots of kind of things I guess going on and just literally completely slipped my mind. And um, I mean, obviously the video was done and waiting and again, I should be one of those much more organised people and actually schedule my videos and then that type of thing wouldn't happen. But of course, that all takes a lot more time. So my videos aren't scheduled to go up or anything. I kind of release them on a daily basis. Um, you know, maybe one day I will be on top of things enough to actually have them all scheduled and ready. But until that time, I'm just kind of literally, you know, on the day releasing them. So I just can only apologise. I, yeah, can't really even explain how it happened, but I was kind of just busy and it just completely slipped my mind. So it was only that luckily one of my lovely um, subscribers, she emailed me and said, oh, just checking that you're okay because you hadn't uploaded a video um, today. And obviously I normally upload pretty much, you know, every day. Um, so that was really kind of her, thank you. And Obviously, I'm awful with checking my emails as well. And it just happened, like, flukily. It must have been just meant to be because I happened to just open my iPad at the time when it flicked up. And if I hadn't been, then, to be honest, I would have probably missed the email for yesterday as well because I didn't get around to checking my emails yesterday either. And, um, it, yeah, it flashed up. And I just happened to catch the first line which said, I'm just checking you're OK as you hadn't uploaded a video today. And obviously then I thought, oh no, you know, didn't realise that I hadn't uploaded a video kind of thing. So yeah, I do apologise for anyone who normally watches kind of first thing. I, yeah, just literally slipped my mind completely. So, so sorry about that. There we 
I can't. And thank you so much to everybody who's been so brilliantly supportive in the Tidy Fridays. As I have said, kind of whilst doing those videos, I mean, clearly organising and tidying, not really a natural area for me. Um, and I'm such a hoarder. I'm like the world's worst hoarder. So getting rid of things is also an issue, um, which I'm sure anyone who's watched the series can kind of sense that that's a bit of an issue. Um, yeah, I need to, need to definitely get a bit more ruthless at getting rid of things because, my gosh, otherwise I'm just going to, you know, have made no progress with the whole tidying up thing. Um, so I do, yeah, really appreciate everybody's great ideas for, you know, tidying and what have you because, um, there really have been some brilliant ideas. So, yeah, I'm going to keep you all posted and obviously still you know still continuing with my tidy fridays at the moment so hopefully you know all the time that they seem to be enjoyed um by people then i'll hopefully continue them i mean i have got a lot of mess so with regards to how long i can uh, how long i can continue mess wise wow it's like infinite to be honest so yeah i could just go and go um but yeah i mean really it kind of will depend how how long those videos stay kind of you know seemingly kind of popular um but yes i've got some other ideas to do in some of my tidy fridays so um yeah and uh, i'm going to be adopting some of the ideas that i have you know that have been suggested to me because i've had some really good suggestions thank you so much and I mean, that's the beauty of this lovely community that we have here, isn't it? To just be able to pull our ideas and all of us share, you know, how we store things or, you know, things like that. Because, you know, just because I'm doing videos, I'm certainly not claiming to be an expert on actually any of this, <laughs> any of this stuff. I'm just sharing my love of crafting. Um, definitely not claiming to be an expert, you know, in any way, shape or form. So, um, yeah, always happy to kind of hear suggestions and things because that's how, you know, how we learn, how we improve and all of that stuff, isn't it? So, yeah, thank you so much to all those lovely people who have made suggestions. Really very, very grateful and definitely will be adopting some of those, some of those great suggestions. So, let's have a look. I don't want to suddenly introduce like a green flower. I could have a red one. Well, it's not really red, is it? But pink, I guess. Pink. See, I mean, collage really just doesn't come natural to me, um, or naturally to me at all. You know, I do struggle with it, but equally, I do, you know, I do enjoy doing it. So I just figure, well. Why not give it a bash, you know? And I know lots of you have also said about doing the collage scrapbooks. Um, I, thank you so much for joining in and doing one of those collage scrapbooks. I can't tell you how much I love mine. It's just brilliant. I've got two of them. Um, I mean, my main part or my main problem again is, as if you couldn't guess, is, yeah, not wanting to use it. So hoarding it. Oh, what's that about? I mean, clearly, because I could just make more, but but they're so nice. They're so lovely to just sit and look through and hold and things like that because they feel obviously scrumptious and lovely. So, um, yeah, they're really, really nice. But so thank you so much to all those people who did join and um, make one of those collage masterboard books because I just love mine. I'm right. Losing the will to live a bit with my glue now. Um, yeah, I just absolutely love mine. So, But I thought we'd do it like this today because obviously, you know, not everybody has got one of those. And this is then a bit more, you know, accessible for everybody, which the mass making, you know, I really like to think that everybody can, can join in with whatever we're doing. 
so um, yeah I thought this would be a more inclusive way to do this today so and you know we've all got obviously book pages to get rid of haven't we so it's a double kind of bonus isn't it of being able to get rid of some book pages as well I'll just put this one down here Okay. So what else did we do at the weekend? Oh, we did the most lovely bike ride, I have to say. So on Saturday, um, as I say, I mean, the weather was quite nice the whole weekend. Just what I would call just right, you know, where you could just have a cardigan. If you were in the sun with no breeze, you could take your cardigan off. But, you know, that kind of weather, which is, you know, just ideal, isn't it? And... Um, Oh, we just did this gorgeous, gorgeous bike ride, which we'd never done before. It's literally very close to where we live. Um, we had to drive there with our, you know, bikes on the car. I'm just checking where I'm up to. Right, 36 minutes. So they seem to be that they're literally averaging about 18 minutes to do. So that's the second one. Just put that out of the way. So we'll do another one. And that might be, might be us then done for our mass making, I guess, today. Um, and then, I, as I say, I'll do a part two for this one and we can then finish them off. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes, the bike ride. So it was this lovely bike ride that we hadn't done before. And um, we have been there, there, you know, it's like on a nature reserve. And we had been there as a walk, you know, doing a walk there. Um, oh, gosh, a really long time ago, because, I mean, my daughter was like a baby in the pushchair or, you know, about, I don't know, 18 months old in the pushchair or something. And we did it on this really horrible wet day. And we, as we got out the car, it kind of, you know, the sky went black. And within about 30 seconds of doing the walk, the heavens opened and we got drenched. It was very, very horrible. Um, so we've never really been back there. And, you know, because obviously it wasn't particularly enjoyable. So we'd always kind of, just never really thought of going back there to be honest and as I say I mean it's literally I mean it's quite near where my mum and dad live and um quite near you know the beach where we normally go so I mean it's very very close and um on Saturday the boys my youngest son he was at work and my eldest son he's now left his weekend job because obviously he's doing his full-time you know apprenticeship so yeah he's decided to give up the weekend job now but he was spending the day with his girlfriend and um, so it was just my husband, my daughter and myself. And we dropped my son down, you know, my middle son, we dropped him down to work, which is actually as well where this bike ride is. Um, and we had our bikes on the car, you know, with the view of going for a bike ride, but we hadn't quite decided where we were going to go. And then I suddenly remembered this place and said to my husband, you know, well, how about why don't we try there? So um, we did and oh my gosh, it was so lovely. You know when sometimes you just think, wow, I can't believe this has been on our doorstep all this time and we've not really kind of done this. I'm not sure that goes very well. Um, it was one of those. So definitely, definitely we're going to be, you know, going on that particular bike ride a lot more. We were probably on the bike ride for a about an hour and a half but I mean obviously my daughter you know she's six I mean her bike's quite tiny so she can only bike so fast um so although we were gone for an hour and a half I mean we probably actually had very little exercise I'm sure she got tons because her little legs were kind of going 19 to the dozen ours were barely moving um <laughs> but yeah and we let her lead the way because it was all you know completely off-road and you know nice and safe there were no cars or anything so she was able to just lead the way for the whole bike ride and um she obviously thought that was absolutely fantastic you know she loved being able to lead the way sorry i'm just looking to see see what flowers might be a better match with this um so she absolutely loved that you know being able to lead the way until suddenly she didn't <laughs> because suddenly you know how long she'd been biking for obviously caught up with her and I had kept on saying to her, you know, how are you feeling? Do you think you can go a bit further? Because, you know, don't forget, we're going to have to go back, you know. So 
how are your legs feeling? Are they going to suddenly get tired? And you know what kids are like. She was like, well, I, I'm fine now, you know. And then of course, suddenly they reach a point where they're not fine. So yeah, going back to the car was um, a painful experience, shall we say. Um, <laughs> but she did do well because, you know, I mean, an hour and a half biking, you know, sort of six years old. I mean, that's quite a long time, isn't it? So um, yeah, she was probably really tired out, to be honest. Again, I bribed her with an ice cream. So that kind of spurred her on quite a bit. But yeah, I think she, I think she did like it until suddenly she didn't, you know. But yeah, it was definitely one of those things that we were like, oh my gosh, how have we not been here doing this? And it was just purely because we'd been on that one wet day for the walk and it just kind of put us off doing it. So, um, but definitely now it's going to be there, you know, one of those that we'll kind of keep on doing. Actually, I'm just going to take that back a bit. Um, yeah, it's going to definitely now be one of those that we're going to do much more because it was just so brilliant being all off-road and, you know, lovely and peaceful, no cars, lovely, absolutely lovely. And the weather, as I say, was just literally perfect for it. Absolutely perfect. So we had such a lovely time. And then the rest of the weekend, um, so my husband was doing some jobs on the house. We had a lot of things needed doing. So like out the front, we had some hedges needed trimming and, you know, those kinds of boring jobs that nobody really wants to do. So he finally got on and did some of those things. And um, my daughter and I went to the car boot sale yesterday. So it wasn't that exciting, but, you know, managed to get a few things. So I may be able to share those things with you soon. Um, in a video but as I say I mean it, you know nothing nothing really exciting unfortunately um, but you know anything's anything's good isn't it so yeah that was kind of what we did she took some of her little um, money so she just had like some you know 10 peas and things like that so we counted it up and actually she actually had six pounds so um, she put that in her purse and she bought that along and she actually went into the shop that we have here called The Works and bought herself some, you know, kind of rubbish, really, from there. Oh, sorry about that loud motorbike. Um, yeah, so, I mean, obviously, she had a nice time doing that, so that was good. And then um, we came back from the car boot sale and we went to do another bike ride. So, you know, said to my husband, well, why don't you stop now? so as we can go out and have a bit of a sort of nice time together as a family. Um, so he did, and we went for another bike ride because we had to go and pick my son up, my middle son who was working again, had to go and pick him up from work. So the bikes were still on the car from the day before. So uh, we just did a different bike ride, much shorter, only about probably 40 minutes this time. Um, which was a bit of luck because my daughter was moaning pretty much as soon as we got on the bikes. I think her legs were obviously tired from the day before. Um, but again, it was that lovely weather, you know, literally the same as Saturday in that it was dry, it was, you know, sunny at times, but just perfect weather. So not kind of too, too hot, not too cold. It was just ideal. So we had a, you know, a nice bike ride and, um, yeah, then we went and obviously picked my son up from work. He finished at four o'clock yesterday, whereas on Saturday he didn't finish then until about 10 o'clock. Um, well, he finished at nine, but by the time that he, you know, they have to then clear up a bit and things because um, it's a restaurant. So he didn't actually get home until, well, my husband picked him up, but didn't actually then come home with him until 10 o'clock. So, yeah, it was kind of a late one, really. Um but yeah, we had a nice weekend, so, um, but much helped because the weather was just so perfect, you know. I just love it when, when the weather is, you know, not too hot and just sort of perfect weather like that. 
Okay, just wondering. See, this is where now, again, the whole collage thing just not coming naturally to me at all and I start then mucking about. Now I've also got here these brown sort of flowers. So we could now perhaps add these somewhere. Because they may just, you know, take up some of this some of this space and perhaps there. Sure now so it's just getting too bitty I'm not sure let's have a bit more of that lace Oops. yeah I had mixed feelings about my daughter going back to school um, I mean obviously not that mixed I was obviously thrilled to bits that she was going back from a sort of work point of view but Mixed feelings with regards to obviously, you know, the uh, continuing kind of pandemic and things. But that said, I mean, obviously all of the children are now going back to school. And um, I mean, my middle son's not going back actually until Wednesday. So he's just, you know, he's still laying in bed at the moment. But um, yeah, so he's a little bit later. But I mean, generally they're all gone, you know, gone back or going back now. So... You know, I guess that's kind of how it is, isn't it? And, you know, we just have to all now hope for the best that we've done the right thing. But, um, you know, having said that, on a social level, I mean, wow, she obviously was really missing kind of being around her friends and all of that stuff. So, you know, just from a social kind of point of view, it was really vital that they kind of get back to normal, I think. So, um yeah, we just have to obviously, like I say, hope that we've all done the right thing, you know, and um, won't be sorry. And obviously only time's going to tell, isn't it, you know. I mean, numbers seem to be rising again, which of course they're going to, aren't they? As soon as people start mixing and things are open, of course things are going to, you know, the numbers are going to go up, aren't they? Um, you know, oh, I quite like that there. Um, yeah, so we'll kind of have to wait and see, but I mean, I think it's probably the same everywhere around the world. You know, we all are just hoping for the best. We, we don't have any, you know, choice really. We can't just continue to stay in indefinitely. And, uh, of course, you know, the economy kind of needs to get moving and all of that stuff. And, you know, kids being at home is not good for their mental health and well-being or you know their social kind of interaction and all that kind of thing so yeah we just have to really pray that you know it's not going to be I don't know anything too awful you know them going back pray that we've done the right thing Oh, this is so annoying, honestly. I wish I'd opened a new glue now before starting the video, but... Yeah, we had quite a lot of jobs kind of needed doing outside. So, um, yeah, hopefully, I mean, they're not quite finished, but hopefully the house looking a little bit tidier than it was. So, um... Yeah. I mean, jobs are just, you know, nobody wants to do them, do they? But every now and then, I guess you just have to. So, um, yeah, it was one of those types of things. Just going to tear that down a bit. Wondering what to put here, because I've got this big piece of lace, but again, Try that there. Don't want to have this obviously touching this. Oops. So 
I just need something in here. Oh, of course, I had that flower. So we could maybe have that and maybe then another little bit of lace or something. So. Just try that down there. Okay, right, let's glue this one down. Otherwise, I'm aware that this is now just dragging on endlessly, so. But I mean, you know, I know obviously loads of people out there do collage and, you know, really super quick at it and fast and, you know, can do it really easily and things. So I hope that I'm not being really patronising, but I know that there's lots of people who equally, you know, don't do much collaging and things. So I hope that this has maybe kind of instilled you with a bit of confidence, you know, that you can just anything goes and um you know if you fancy kind of having a go at it then just you know have a go um yeah as i say i'm not trying to be patronizing or anything because i realize that lots of people out there do it and loads of people are so brilliant um but yeah like i say i mean i am also aware that there's lots of people who kind of find the whole collage thing a little bit you know intimidating so i hope this has given you some confidence in actually just giving it a bit of a try okay I might just do it like that so I mean you know this to me I don't feel overly happy with to be honest I feel it's a little bit a little bit cluttered in places um but you know sometimes that's just how it is I guess I mean I have got this which I could maybe use somewhere instead Perhaps we could use that there. That might be better. Right, let's just glue a couple of these pieces down. I always say it, but you know, there's nothing like gluing the pieces down to stop you then, you know, second guessing and thinking all the time, oh, what shall I do? Shall I put this here? Shall I, you know, just put it down and then it's kind of like no more no more thinking about it and if you don't you know then decide you're not happy with something you can always oops you can always go over it and um move it somewhere else so not move it sorry but cover it up you know you can go over it with something else so it's probably always worth still getting it stuck down rather than you know keep debating and debating like i am currently doing I thought that was upside down. I mean, not that, not that I can read music at all or anything, but yeah, I just had this funny feeling that that was upside down. Okay. And we can have that there. Right, let's put this one down here. Oh my glue. Okie dokie. Pop this one down here. There we go. Right, now, just a case of now arranging these bits. So, got my lace bit here. So I might put that sort of like that. You can have that there. Uh, no. I might have to actually tear out a bigger piece of this paper, actually, I think. So, yeah, just going to tear this down. Yeah, I think I prefer it like that. And then I can just put sort of... Oh, let me just see. Yeah, maybe we'll put that there. Maybe just... I need to tear this down anyway because I don't really like having that straight, straight top. So I'll just tear that down there. Like that. Yeah, 
that looks better doesn't it and I'm not even going to worry about that little space there actually because to be honest you can always just cover that up by just inking it or something you know or who knows we might cover it up anyway once we you know once we decorate this piece so it's not you know not worth worrying about too much trying to fill that little space okay just glue that down there there we go can that go a bit higher yep okay like that and just add a little bit of glue there and dab there okay and then just now filling in this little piece here oops and maybe then have to put something in there so maybe just just have this little slither or something here oops. yeah so I'm just going to literally sort of fill that that in so bodgy bodgy craft in there but I mean again you know it doesn't matter how you get there so long as the results look okay in the end you know it doesn't really matter if it's a little bit you know um not what you deem the proper way to do it because it's just crafting so anything goes obviously and then I'm just going to pop this flower down Oops. and then you'll be pleased to know that I think this is probably my last piece and then I can actually finally finally finish oh thank you it's just my husband there bought me a cup of tea which is brilliant because I was getting really thirsty keep talking so yeah okay and just pop that in there Okay, so that's those done. Right, let me check the time. Oh my gosh, that's 57. Oh, that piece took a really long time to do, didn't it? Right, so we have our three little boards there, um, you know, which maybe don't really seem like a lot, but you maybe have done more than me. Maybe you're a lot quicker at doing your collage than me, but I love, love, love how they look. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is do this as a two-parter and I will come back with part two um, either later on today, probably tomorrow, because as I say, I don't want to zap up two hours of your day. Um, and we will then finish these off. So I hope that you like them and I hope that you had fun if you did some. It's a good way to use up some of your scraps. And I will see you guys um, in the next video. Thanks so much then. Bye.